Hello and welcome. Chuck Holmes here back with another video. My name is Chuck. I'm a network marketing professional and today I'm going to share my results from recruiting 100 MLM distributors. Now I'm kind of an analytical guy. I love numbers. They kind of keep me on track. Maybe you can relate to that. Maybe not. My goal in my business was to recruit a lot of people, ideally two to three, four hundred people in order to find my superstars. Now I understand Maybe not everyone has the ability to sign up that many people. I will also tell you, when I first started the industry, I did not have the ability to do that. Over the period of over 20 years, I developed my skills, just like anybody can do if they choose to. So when it comes to building a large network marketing business, you have basically three strategies you can follow. You can mass recruit, which is the strategy that I, can, that I use. You can use tap rooting, which is the process of sponsoring a few people, helping them sponsor a few people, helping them sponsor a few people, or you can do the product approach, or maybe even do a combination of all three of those strategies into something unique for yourself. Now, I mass recruit because I like to recruit, and I believe that I can't make anyone successful in the business. I can't drag anyone across the finish line. Each person is their own CEO. They're going to build the business or not, regardless of what I do, because each person's on their own journey, and you can't make anyone do anything. Sometimes I wish we could make someone plug in and do the work or make them believe in themselves, but we can't. They have to make that decision themselves. So I've been in the industry since 2002. This is currently November 2023, so it's been about 21 and a half years, maybe 21 and three quarter years. I joined my current company in June of 2023 after some management decisions in my previous company that I didn't agree with. So I left that company. I came to this new company in on June 12th of 2023. On November 2nd, 2023, I signed up my 100th recruit. So it took me 144 days, about 4.75 months to recruit 100 people. My goal was to actually do it sooner. I wanted to do it in 100 days, one a day, for the first 100 days, but 144 days really isn't that bad either. I think I averaged about 22 new reps a month that I signed up. Uh, out of the 100 people, here is the current breakdown. Now, before I give you these numbers, keep in mind, my team is still very young. So what's gonna be more interesting is what these numbers will look like in 12 months from now. But out of the 100 people that I signed up who are affiliates, who are distributors, not customers, 13 have already quit. 69 out of those 100 people didn't sign up one person. Only 31 people recruited at least one person, so about 31%, which isn't bad. 21 out of those 31 people signed up at least two people and hit the first rank in our company, which is bronze, so that's good. Now, out of those 100 people that I signed up, four signed up at least five people, one of those signed up about 12 people. One of those signed up about 18 people. One enrolled just over 40 people, and the other has signed up over 100 people. So basically one superstar out of the 100, four leader-type people out of the 100, and a lot of potential leaders coming up, people who, if they choose to, uh, they will be a great leader. Now, one of the leaders built a bigger team than I did, so that's exciting. When you have someone in your team who surpasses you, uh, that's what you should want in this business. Now, what I want to do in the rest of this training is talk about a guy named Bill Britt, who was one of my first heroes in the industry. He was an Amway legend. He died a few years ago, sadly, but he was on 60 Minutes, and he was interviewed on a 60-minute episode that was kind of anti-Amway. This was many years ago, decades ago. And they had interviewed a lot of people who had failed in the company. And they finally got to him. He was one of the last people they interviewed. And they asked him, they said, basically, you know, Bill, all these other people failed or quit. Why did you become successful? What did you do? And this is what he said. He said, there is no secret. I simply showed the plan to 1,200 people. 900 said no, and only 300 signed up. Out of those 300, only 85 did anything at all. Out of those 85, only 35 were serious. And out of those 35, 11 made me a millionaire. Pretty impressive. Now, if you're to break down his numbers, because I am an analytical guy, only about one out of 3.5 people that he signed up did anything at all or even stayed in the business. 
Only about one in nine people was fairly serious about the business. And only about one in 27 people was a leader, was all in in the business. So my stats compared to his, which is quite interesting, is uh, my stats as far as people quitting the business, about the same as him. Uh, my stats for people who are somewhat serious and really serious are lower than his. However, there's two things. I haven't gone through my 300 people yet. I've only gone through 100 people. And when he did this interview, he had been in the business several decades already. So it wasn't a new, brand new business. It was an established business. So since my, my business, my team is only 4.5 months old, I'm just very curious what it's going to look like in three or four years as it matures, as it develops. Because I could have some people I've already signed up who are going to be huge rock stars. They just haven't made the decision to do that yet. I have other people who signed up. Maybe they've done okay, but they're going to fizzle out at some point uh, in the future. So what are your takeaways from this training? This is what I want you to take away. One, you don't have to be a recruiting machine. You don't have to sign up hundreds of people to be successful. It is a strategy that works, though. Most of the top earners that I personally know, and I know probably several hundred of them in different companies, most of them have signed up anywhere from 100 to 500 people. But they've been with their company for a long time. So most of them average about two to four new personally sponsored business builders every month, which I think is doable for anybody, even a part-timer. Uh, where people mess up is they don't stick with it long enough. They don't give themselves time for that compounding uh, to kick in. Another takeaway that I have for this is that not everyone you bring in is going to be serious. In fact, most people that you sign up, probably seven out of ten, they're not going to do anything at all. And that's why I really don't believe in duplication, because most people, even if you have the best system, great coaching, great training, they're still not going to do anything. Why? That is the million dollar question, probably because they have very little money invested in the business or their business just isn't a priority for them. Now, here's another takeaway from this training that might help you. You only need one or two or three really serious people to build a big income in network marketing. You don't need lots of serious people because most people aren't going to be all in. Most people aren't going to be the leader type, and that's okay. You need everybody, but you only need a few really serious people in your team to build a monster income. In most cases, you don't even have to be the one who sponsored them. Now, here's another cool thing or another cool takeaway from this. Many of the good people in my team, most of them, in fact, are not personally sponsored by me. They showed up somewhere else in my team. Yes, I have some people that I personally sponsored who are very serious, but m most of the serious people, they show up in depth several levels down in my business, maybe even deeper than that. And my last takeaway from this training is it takes time, <coughs> excuse me, for a business to mature. Uh, in most cases, it's going to take three, four, five years for your business to mature and really see the leverage and the compounding and the, the, the explosions and the massive momentum that people talk about. It doesn't happen overnight. So in that four months in change where I signed up 100 people, our team went to just over 1,000 paid members. So I brought in 100. That turned into about 1,000 people. That's good. Uh, I expect in the next three to four months, that's going to go from 1,000 to several thousand. Uh, my final takeaway, maybe the other one was supposed to be my final takeaway, but my final takeaway is if you just keep recruiting consistently month after month, the right people will show up. You don't know when, but there are four aces in every deck of cards. If you keep turning over cards, you will find those aces. They might be the first four cards. They might be the last four cards. They might be in the middle. They might be spread out evenly throughout the deck. But if you keep turning over cards, you will find the right people. But you have to be the right person yourself. So this is my results of recruiting 100 MLM reps in my current company in the past four and a half months. I hope you got some value from this training today. Don't forget to check out the links and the resources in the description box below this training. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Feel free to leave a comment below and tell me what you're thinking. I do try to post a new video every day, so please check back often for future updates. Thank you. Have a great night.